Alright guys, welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, we don't actually have a whole lot left to do here. I don't remember what I was doing last time. I think I just finished up the guest shit. Um, so we have, um, by the way, person of interest, Hel Helena Blake. Uh, I, I just looked at this now. Apparent Emporium in the financial district of the Presidium. Uh, I wish this thing, by the way, it usually what it, this, this shit does is it pre-fixes it with Citadel. This one did not. I'm not sure why, but it was a bit of a minor uh, undersight by Bioware, and I, when I before I left Citadel, I didn't. I just wanted to complete everything that said Citadel on it, but I didn't realize that this actually meant uh, it's only completable on the Citadel. So uh, we can't do that one. I don't think it's really that important, anyways. Um, realistically, we're not doing all these these stupid collectible things. Uh, Artemis Tau. Yeah, we'll just do shit like this. Um, Artemis Tau cluster. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Oh, there you go. Alright, well, we did that one. Let's not come back here ever. I want to reduce our uh, fucking around on these systems to a minimum. Where's Artemis Tau? Fortunately, I have to basically do this. There you go. Sparta, Kenosis. Uh, this is the one. Alright, as I said, we'll just do all the ones that I can possibly do, and then we're going to see it with that. And just go straight to Alios. It's a fair bit of uh, side missions to do. Well, one of these fucking plants has it, and I guess this one does. Let's go, kids. Alright, let's fucking go down. I don't- I, I, we don't even care to see these unskippable animations. Alright. What is the assignment for that? So it says here... Uh, investigate mercenary attacks. Uh, stronghold, debris, and anomaly. Haven't we done this planet before? That's the question I ask myself, because they're all looking very similar. But you know what, hey. I'll do this chest here. Or not really. It's just at Zurich, uh, at Zurich. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, sorry. Oh, that's, uh, Matrix Writings. I actually kind of skipped it and didn't read it, but, uh, sorry. Too long, didn't read. Uh, that was my mistake. I actually probably would have just skimmed through it, but I uh, just pressed OK right away. I, c I, I can't take back unless I want to restart the entire episode, and uh, me caring about that is much less than uh, me wanting to restart the entire thing, because uh, I don't have a save that goes far, far enough back. But we do care about minerals, guys. We, we, we really do care about these. Oh, Thorium. The, th the thorium was worth reading, though. Alright, let's go to destination. Well, I'll head over that way. Sorry, I stopped for a second just because uh, my microphone was kind of, like, spiking uh, in terms of, like, audio, so I decided to fix that a little bit. Just uh, before anything else happened. What the hell is this place? Oh, uh, is that... Oh, look, it's Geth base number 125. Or, no, that's not Geth. It's humans. It's completely different. Oh, they might as well be Geth. No, 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 they're pirates. Well, that guy tried to do, uh... Oh, shit. Fuck. I got sniped. What can we do? I know this is a lot of copying and paste here. And there's a pirate, uh... Pirate Kro Krogan, of course. The fuck? Alright, that guy's gone. Oh, what's this guy's plan? Well, he did live. So we gotta commend him for that. Oh, what the hell? That guy even lasted through like a full blast without any immunity or anything.
Their dialogue gets very repetitive, doesn't it? I like how they just go fucking flying, dude. How does that not kill them on the first hit, man? It's a fucking tank, man. Zero out of ten for realism. Alright, let's go check this voice out. Enter building. Oh, hey, look at all the red blips. Krogans. Well, I can't see anything. Go, go, go! Fucking hell, dude. Alright, maybe we should get someone to Singularity this. Except he's, like, got immunity, so I guess we're just gonna wait, wait it out. I mean, like, does he not care? Oh. Whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with this one. You guys get the rest of them. We have singularity? We totally do. Oh, there's a Solarian Pyre too. I wonder what, what made him become a, actually he was a sniper in the run. He's the kind of sniper that goes into in, in, in front of people and, and shoots them in the face. Who the fuck does that? Honestly. I will destroy you! That guy is making a mockery of snipers everywhere, fuck. They're all immunity. Fuck, I missed. I love just doing this. Hello, good sir. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Saren? Alright. That's, uh, that's most of them. What, what is his plan? Oh. What the fuck? It's a sorry slaver. Okay. Uh, an an another quest well done. Just did a sorry a sorry slaver just pops out of nowhere and, and we, we I love it when things just solve each other. Chameleon cool. No, turn it's a chameleon tool. Uh, we got Terminator fucking uh, something something something. A really big set of numbers. Apparently they did not know what to do with uh, the Terminator franchise. So it's uh, a lot of shit here. Huh. I remember I ha I remember why I have that. It's because I don't want to wear it. Man, but I could wear it. But on the other hand, I don't really want to. Uh, I don't think I got anything that really that great. I I notice how I never get any good biotic to amp tools at as well, and like a another Charmeleon tool. Yeah, I'm really starting to regret I not taking that armor and bring down the sky. But then again, wouldn't really make much of a difference now because I, I think it would have already become like not as effective. Cry explosives, snow blind rounds, frictionless materials. Dude, how does frictionless materials work? Is it like a fucking slinky? It might be. Weapon upgrade, scram rail IX. Wow. Uh, dude, I want the scram rail. Oh shit, son. Okay, apparently two shots and I, I overheat with that one, so maybe maybe not that one. Maybe we'll keep the frictionless materials on. Oh shit, we can't really do anything with that. There we go. Stiletto fucking whatever. You discover evidence that the Asari leading these slavers and NASA says Dantes is an important ambassador on Citadel, our sisters. You should re return to the Presidium and confront her with us. But I can't. Because we can't go back to the we can't go back to the Presidium. Rip. Alright, well that was a waste of time. Don't we have the best waste of time, folks? Oh, yes we do. We just, I, I can't go back to the Citadel, so it's like, uh, yeah, because it's like, hey, but I'll basically just go there. It's like BTW, I, uh, I stole the Normandy. 
form Nessa. Plot island items. I mean, I took it, didn't I? So, but I mean, we can't do it. Kind of lame. Won't lie. I mean, and the thing is, though, it happens after Pharos and... Like, like, sorry, it happens after Vermeer. So you basically do like three of the major missions, uh, or two of the major missions, and you get it. And if you if you do the trap of basically going to Vermeer, um, ba basically you can't go back anymore, which is actually kind of lame when you think about it. It doesn't it doesn't let you go back there anymore, which is like when you think about it, it it's like kind of half the game, you know. Like you you finish half of it, and then like yeah, you're you're basically done. Because, I mean, when you go to Elios, it's like, uh, you're, you're fucking completely out of it. Alright, investigate shipments. Amazon system. Basically, I should have maybe done all the side missions before I even went to Vermeer. Cerberus. Okay. I would like to see more of Cerberus. So, we need to go to Voyager Cl uh, y the Yad God Sea system in Voyager Cluster. Alright. That sounds a one, like a wonderful place to go, and we will go there. Okay, where's your gutsy system? Voyager Cluster. Okay, maybe it's that. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was the other way around. I thought it was first the system, then the cl local cluster, but this title was reversed. And I mean, literally anything could be a cluster. It's like a... Cluster literally means, like, a bunch of shit together. That doesn't even work. Ah, oh, here we go. This is the planet. Alright, let's go down here. I maybe should have brought Garrus along. I just figured having Heavy Biotic would be pretty cool. Like, like... I, I just kind of decided this before the playthrough. I'm like, yeah, I'll just bring from Mass Effect 1. I'll bring along the air for everything. Alright. Where are we going now? Holy shit. Okay, they have a lot of research facilities here, so let's go to the debris first, just because it's, uh... It's the least, uh... I have some minerals there. I, I don't know if I really give a fuck about minerals. Because the answer is turning into probably not. Oops. <laughs> I decided to speed this up. Uh, Alright, let's go. You know, I could just override all literally all this with Omni-Gel, but that's like... Next to second. Combat exoskeleton. Energized plating. I mean, I, I don't know. 15% damage. Fucking bullshit. Really not that important, actually, when you think about it. Oops, no. Uh, let's go back over here, then. Whoops, whoa. Alright, let's go all this way. Now, I, I know you've been watching last couple parts, and I've been doing this Mako shit, and I've been- Oh, here we go. I've been- I've been speeding it up, right? And- and remember, nobody does this. <laughs> nobody speeds it up like I am right now, so it really makes- it really- it really makes you think how, how fucking slow this actually all is. If you play us at normal speed. you would be at like, fucking part 60 or something right now, let me just tell you. It's- it- I, and, and and for reference, it's ten times faster at the moment. That's that's how fast I made it. Clear. Just for reference. All right, looks like we're on the moon again. Stinger brawler. We literally get nothing from these, do we anymore? All right, this is different. I like different. That a, that's a Rachna. Oh. Well then. It's, it, it was a tarp the whole time. Oh, Cerberus is here. Alright, sorry, I'm doing this at a time where... Uh, yeah. Shit, I wanted to get this guy. There we go, we got him. So we have to we have three research bases to look at right now. Server sniper. This is 
what my level will be in uh, Mass Effect 2, by the way. Cerberus Sniper. Oh, fuck. We all want to take a nap. Wait, I'm sleeping, but I, I can scope in. What the hell? <laughs> you eliminate the threat at this facility. Continue to one of the other nearby labs. All right. I mean, the threat. There's like like two rachni in there. Okay. There's there's another diagnostic station that I can kind of look at, but it it doesn't mean anything. And this place isn't open. But the thing is that you can see on the map, it 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 literally exists. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. Oh, why, thank you. He, g he gave the best advice. I mean, there's only like three locally clustered together. Haha, <laughs> see, cluster. Alright. Well, I guess we'll, we'll just... No, no, as much as we want to return to Normandy, we gotta do them all. Alright, that's the next one. Actually, there's like a pyramid or something over here. Oh yeah, that's right. That was on the, it was on the radar. All right, the fuck's the deal with this? Prothean pyramid recover. Okay. Uh, there are a few children's toys and some ragged clothes stuffed at the top of this monument, as long as the Prothean data disc. All right. Apparently we're artifact collectors. I'm like I'm like Picard now. Let's get collect shit in my fucking ready room. Here's a time when I went to that shitty green planet. Got some Prothean toys. You wanna play? Okay, I'm, I'm ignoring minerals for now and I don't give a fuck. I don't think they do anything, I don't need the money. What? What? Alright. Alright, I, I, okay, there. So it all worked out. Alright, Gucci. Yeah, you'd be right. Alright. See what kind of fucking disasters await us here. Oh, it's the same thing. Alright, well, this time we're not falling for that trap anymore. We're gonna go over here and... Actually, do they even do anything? Like, do they attack each other? Go, go, go. Or they, do they all hate me more than they hate, uh... Yeah, it looks like they hate me more than they hate, uh, the Cerberus. Oh, no, 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 they're, they're attacking each other, actually. I gotta commend them for that. You guys not gonna help me? Oh, fuck, he had his little thing up. Oh, come on, fuck on. My glad don't want to take nappy. Yeah, I don't like it when games do that when they have like this this system where like they, they only have like they 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 can only distinguish uh basically what are the supposed to be the enemies in the game. And there and then like things that shouldn't be friends become friends. There are no signs of Kohaku or whatever among creeper corpses. Must be at one of the other labs in the area. Let's head to that next base, Shepard. This is my kind of mission. I'm I'm really glad we brought Lorette Rush along here for this. Fuck. Light Turing armor. Ah, all the Turing armors. I, 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 you know, you gotta think about it. Why would Cerberus have Turing armor inside of a fucking anywhere? 
Because they, they really shouldn't. But, you know. Because, like, Cerberus is, like, a, like a basically, like, pro-human thing, so, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure about it. Alright, there's a, a bunch of garbage here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, none of this is any good. Inside, and they're inside medical stations, worst of all. Alright, oh yeah, that's right, we got some biotic amps, that's right. Let's uh, check out if those are any good. Unity amp. Okay, they're fucking trash. Shield interface, ah, even more of this stuff. I just can't get enough of that minigame. I wonder how that armor is. Phoenix, well we have that one. Or we don't, actually, at all. But that doesn't matter, it's garbage. There, uh, okay. Well, that's it for this place. One left, guys. Just one. And then we're done side quests for this episode. I'll be honest, I never did any of this. Uh, in my original run of the game. I think I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. I can kind of see why I never did them. I think I did one or two, and then I kind of realized the pattern. There's the last one. Guys, don't worry, this one will be revolutionary and very different. See, so guys? It had no, no crates at the beginning. Oh, another force field with little cockroaches. Alright, we'll let them loose. Enemy contact. Ah, oh, fucking research technician. Don't worry, I have I have I have invulnerability mode on. What are you kidding? What kind of cheats are these? Why do they do so much damage all of a sudden? I uh, maybe I got warped. Are you joking again? Like how I just get all like fucking like rag dolly every time. Look out! Go, go, go! Did someone like lift this asshole? Yeah, just warped him. Fuck we are, I shot you in the back. Alright, you know what, whatever. Well, he's gonna be in thing whatever. I find it super amusing, I just don't want to shoot them when they have that this mode on. There we go. I've lost shields. Fuck up. Okay. Oh good, I just used health at the exact at the good time. I kinda of butt rushed him and then uh I, I I wasn't winning. Oh my god, this guy still is alive. There we go, he's dead. Must. I'll kill you. Time to get Kahoku some payback. Oh, he's here. So I, could, so I guess he just kind of appears wherever. You <laughs> check for a pulse. Despite the ferocity of the creatures, he was sealed in with uh, no signs of trauma on the corpse. The needle marks on the arm suggest a different means of execution. Oh, goddess, it's Admiral Kahoku. I guess Cerberus found him after all. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's the one who's like going like, oh my god, they're after me. I remember. So he's always at the last one or whatever. Alright, we're done. Poor character that we didn't know anything about. The sad story. Even sadder than Kaden. I, I knew more about him than I knew about Kaden. It was a lot. Alright. Uh, shit. I'll just start the next one, and then we'll, uh, leave it off there. Uh, fuck. Strange transmission. In the sentry system in the 
hawking at a cluster. Question is, which one first? That's the real question. Uh, there you go, Hawking Ada in the Sentry system. There we go. The strange transmission. I, I probably should have just left it off there, right? Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise. The Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. Major Kyle, your commanding officer, Torfin, has set up a small compound in a Hawking Ida cluster. He's attracted a number of biotic followers. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He's not the same man you served under. He feels responsible for the Alliance soldiers who died at Torfin. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. How permanent of a solution are you looking for? We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Okay. Trust me, use my judgment. Oh, that's a bad idea. Uh, I can tell you, as the guy doing all the judgment, it's not very good. Alright, let's go. That plan looks awesome. Alright guys, we're going to leave it up here. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.